Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali, I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the Million Dollar Challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called Compound Return investing so the objective is try to get 201 trades each with an average return of 3.5 percent it's not 201 consecutive trades we do take into account losses so for further details about how to join us for little as nine dollars a month information is available in the description below in the previous video we looked at all things that you may need to know with regard to the spin-off including dates uh, last dates of buying trading uh, so please refer back to the previous video for those updates in today's video we're going to be looking at an update with regard to food again a confirmation also with regard to the last day of uh, covering for shorts there has been some developments there uh, i'm going to be sharing with you also a response from a broker and as well as that there was some news today with regard to the 424 filing so again positive news there so before we make a start let's have a quick look at what's happening in the market so quick headline here the us today uh, I'm sure you're aware it was just um, a half day of trading uh, after yesterday's Thanksgiving. So um, there was a mixed uh, day for the markets uh, in terms of the Fed. Obviously, we've still had uh, remarks from the Fed. So overall, the markets closed on a mixed um, uh, level with uh, the Nasdaq down just 0.7%, Dow Jones up 0.45%. So if we finish off by having a look at the heat map again, uh, fairly uh, mixed. Uh, Apple down, Google down, Amazon uh, also down but with, uh, in terms of medical devices, air, uh, aerospace, industrials, um, insurance, uh, crypto financials uh, doing a little bit better. Let's start by having a look at the chart for MMTLP. So we can see here not much movement, uh, not huge increase in volume and definitely no signal uh, to indicate that the shorts are covering but it was up in excess of 5% closing at $10.03. Uh, and I am aware today it was uh, buyer orders are now getting harder to um, uh, Phil, but a uh, shout out here to Terry and uh, he shared a post. Uh, he's bought more today with Trade Station, uh, partially filled 50 uh, share order, uh, gone through here twice, uh, but it has gone through, uh, I think, uh, partially. So uh, it will get more difficult to buy MMTLP, which is one of the reasons why we do say uh, not a great um, one to uh, swing. So let's start by having a look at confirmation of the filing. So this was shared in a post UK time at 11, 12 a.m. this morning. Uh, so it was uh, uploaded onto the SEC Edgar uh, page and we can see here confirmation prospective rule 424B uh, now uh, submitted filing date 25th of November 2022. Uh, so good news here. And uh, the other thing I'd like to add on now, no issues left with FINRA. So this also confirms FINRA approval. So we can see here file to uh, rule 424B uh, section 4 at the top we also have the file name so uh, we are now all ready to go. So before we look at uh, dates with regard to shorts covering one other update I'd like to share with you is with regard to corporate notice so brokers will be provided with these corporate notices uh, Monday and Tuesday as far as I'm aware. Uh, that will then trigger the process of uh, making sure that shorts are exiting and covering. Uh, so let's now move on to so give a shout out here to Paul Gratis and what he's posted here is confirmation of a date after calling his broker uh, and the date he has shared with us is Monday the 12th of December 2022. All short positions must cover and close by the record date Monday December the 12th. So that's uh, the, the first post we had and we have had a number of follow-up posts. So the next one here shout out to BZF and he's uh, contacted Quest Trade in Canada. Uh, and there is a little bit of a difference here that the date here is December the 9th and that is uh, indicated here as the last day for shorts to cover and, uh, and next shout out here is to Short Squeeze who've contacted uh, Trade Zero America and uh, they have also stated here that the date is Friday no, uh, December the 9th so we are getting two dates and the final shout out here is to um, Meta support channel so obviously uh, Meta support channels have obviously confirmed seeing both these dates so what this is basically indicating that potentially it could be between both of these dates when the shorts will cover so uh, these are things that we're going to see um, in terms of either first of all uh, the shorts have a choice of exiting prior to these dates themselves and uh, uh, from my point of view I think if they're not out by the 9th I think on the 12th the brokers will, will probably close for them. 
So what I'd now like to do is get perspective on this from a broker. So shout out here to Brandon Bice, who has reached out in terms of one of my posts where I stated, we know that brokers are still not forcing shorts to cover. That is as of today. Shorts are going to have a very small grace period after, they will, after which they will either cover themselves or uh, the brokers will cover on their behalf. So let's see what Brandon has stated. And at the bottom, he said, as a broker, I can tell you we will close all shorts, close the business December the 12th for all clients who do not close prior. So we are expecting the, the, the shorts to close by December the 9th, as we've just seen. If they do not close themselves December the 9th, then the brokers will close for them. So this is certainly going to be very, very interesting. What I'd now like to do is give a shout out here to Etchison, who's reached out through Tony from Market Moves. And this is with regards to some FUD that I've just been made aware of. So let's have a look at uh, the post in question. So uh, he stated here, first of all, hey, Tony, can you give this photo to Trading Secrets? The alpha guys, or should we say the alpha genius guys are trying to spread FUD. He deleted this tweet, but I got a screenshot. I'm unable to send uh, uh, direct messages to Trading Secrets, but let's have a look at what he stated. So this is looking like uh, what is the deleted tweet. So it states here uh, from the alpha genius, everybody thinks you have to hold through December the 12th because that is the record date. Those people have no idea what the T plus two rule is. Uh, so I'm not sure what the alpha genius is smoking here, but let's uh, dig a little bit further. Uh, this is a post that I've just uh, seen here. 10.52 uh, p.m. UK time, November the 23rd, 2022. So this is a post that is not deleted. So the alpha top of the G OTC, I don't know what the top of the G is, definitely not uh indicates what it should be but it states here all right let's get the shit out of the way mmtlp holders you can sell on december the 11th and still get private shares of next breed so everybody who follows this advice you need to contact your lawyers and take uh, the top of the g to the top of the court because uh, he's saying you're going to get next bridge by selling on december the 11th so this is why it's very important to deal with fud this is why it's important to challenge because people will be losing dollars uh, there it is i said it i'm now ready for the replies guys tell me to eat the shit yes you do need to eat the shit you and the puma uh, and uh, let's go on here uh, in terms of another post what he stated here i think mmtlp is one of the biggest opportunities right now in the market not because it's going to squeeze to 350 dollars so does that mean he thinks it is going up? Um, but obviously, because he has no choice to admit that, because that is certainly what the, a high likelihood from what we can see next week. It's an amazing opportunity because you'll be able to get MMTLP shares in the middle of the pump and get private shares of Nextbridge. 100% impossible. Don't know what planet is on. This person is also on cloud cuckoo land. For some of the Americans, it's not cookie, as in biscuit, it's cuckoo, uh, which is a British term. So this is another person who's probably living on that planet. So I'm just gonna remind everybody in terms of um, uh, the what, what I shared earlier, uh, in the discord and that is confirmation from the uh, filing and it states here as a reminder uh, it, you cannot get next bridge and sell mmtlp it's either one or the other so let's have a look at the confirmation here um, so series a uh, preferred stock who sell their shares on or before the record date will not be able to and uh, not be entitled to receive next bridge but this is the important bit of those who sell their shares after record date but before the distribution date will be required to transfer the shares of Nextbridge common stock received in the distribution to the subsequent purchase. So confirmation here uh, that the alpha is spreading foot. And just to finish off, I'd like to give a shout out to two of my friends here. First one, Cable, and what's uh, Cable has also responded to the alpha genius and he says, you are an idiot. 100% agree with that. The T2 does not apply here because of the due bill rule and the 11th is a Sunday so I'm not sure the alpha knows about the dates uh, you, you know, you know, there is something called a calendar so maybe somebody can indicate to him that the 11th is a Sunday uh, and not uh, a working day good luck selling your shares when the market is closed you lost all my respect in this place so remember the alpha was saying sell on a Sunday uh, and that's why I said he's on cloud cuckoo land. Uh, so again, shout out to one of the good guys. He said, just like there is no free, free lunch in stocks and trading, you also cannot get a double dip. Eating shit, however, is optional. And if that's what you feel like, feel free. So uh, obviously the alpha now needs to do what he stated he's doing, him and the puma.
I finally like to finish off by giving shout out to our stock spreadsheet. So we have a squeeze tab uh, on here, which is uh, obviously updated every week. One of the stocks that we added to this was six symbol C O S M. And we saw this week that uh, for two days, it was up in excess of hundred uh, percent. Yesterday, I think it went down. And today, if we have a look at the chart here, it was up in excess of 34%. So certainly one of those stocks that you do need to take profits as the momentum goes up, closed up in excess of um, 34.06% at 42 cents. So Tiximal COSM, also known as Cosmos Holdings, uh, uh, potentially uh, good news coming for this, also highly shorted, short, uh, the short volume on this is something that we've also been watching. Uh, so if you'd like to get a copy of our stock spreadsheet as well as our weekly watch list, you can certainly consider joining us in the Discord for little as $9 a month. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.